Hey everyone, it's Emily Fox. Today's video is going to be a lip swatch video on the new Maybelline Superstate Matte Ink Liquid Lipsticks. They came out with five new shades of pink for the pink collection. So as always, I will be swatching all the shades on my arms and on my lips so you can see what the colors look like. But I'm also going to include some comparison swatches between these pinks and all the other ones from the past collections just so you can see how they compare. Like the other collection, they do go on smooth, opaque in one swipe. I don't have to go back into the tube to get more product. They smell like cake. But do they wear the same? I will be including at the end of the video a wear test with one of the shades just to show you that they are still transfer proof and they still last all day long. My favorite shades would have to be 150 Pathfinder, 155. 180 revolutionary it's a sin to go at night blessing play bed in the daytime goosebumps rise at night and settle back down at sunrise cut the cord at noon and say you'll be back soon that's at no some pink shades in the last three collections so let me just include right now some arm swatches so I can let you know which shades compare to which ones. I went back and looked at the past collections and these are the colors I want to compare them to because you can see some of them are pinks some of them are definitely nudes but I feel like these end up being kind of nude so let's see if we can find anything that is close or just to give you an idea what the colors look like compared to these. So let's start with Lover which I it wasn't one I wanted to absolutely find. I couldn't find for a while in my collection, but I wanted to compare it to this metal one, which I can't remember the name of. I'll put it on the screen. Uh, you can see that Lover is actually a bit more mauve and a bit darker, so they're not exactly the same, but I find that this color might be more everyday friendly for my skin tone, uh, but both of these are definitely really, really pretty colors, so you can compare the shades. Let me do three of the nude shades. I'm going to try to do them around here so you can kind of see. They're definitely going to be more uh, warmer than the pinks, but just to give you an idea what the colors would be like. Okay, so you can see the closest one to any of them would be this one, which is 65 Seductress. It's still definitely more nude and a bit more like beige and warm than the pinks. And then you have this one, which was Amazonian. And then you have Self Starter, which is definitely more peach red, kind of rusty. Than the other ones but to give you an idea how the shades compare okay so here we are so we had lover that one which is definitely the closest one to any of these shades after that you have dreamer which is definitely the lightest one of the bunch and definitely more white base uh, the one right after is 125 which i'm too far to see the name i'll put it on the screen uh, you can see that it's actually kind of similar to this one also but it's definitely a tiny bit lighter and in person i can definitely tell that it's a bit more pink and less uh, neutral nude. Hopefully the camera will pick that up. I think you can tell. Uh, the next pink is definitely super bright. That one was number romantic, number 30. And uh, that one is like way more pink than the pinks. Can you believe this is the pink collection? Uh, so definitely not similar to anything else. And then I wanted to see if I could find anything kind of closer to the darkest shades. And they're definitely quite different. I do adore this color, which is uh, 120. And then you have the last one, uh, Ruler, which is number 80. So you can tell that they're not the same. This one is definitely more pinky, which I adore pinky rides. And this one is actually kind of brown, really, for the pink collection. Did I mix something up? Uh, I don't know. 
But uh, yeah, I think that the closest to this one is definitely the Amazonian one that I have right now. So this is the comparison. Hopefully it helped you out a little bit trying to uh, figure out if you needed another shade or if one of them would work better for you than one of the other ones. So for the rest of the day, I will be continuing to wear this color right now, which is Pathfinder. I think it's the most fun of the collection, just to show you how it wears. I'm going to give it a couple more minutes before doing the transfer test, just because I feel like it takes a little while for them to fully dry matte, but whenever they are, they are definitely transfer proof. That's also why they're not drying. I feel like I can wear them all day long without feeling the need to rush and apply some lip balm. So it's currently nine in the morning, so I will see you in a couple more hours. Okay, so we're just a couple minutes later and I wanted to do the transfer test <laughs> before I forget. So let's hope it's dry. There's nothing. So definitely transfer proof. Actually, let me try to drink a little bit. So you can see there's nothing after water i'm curious let me just do it again still nothing so they're definitely waterproof they're definitely transfer proof so it's still about nine something so i will see you in a couple more hours just to show you how it resists food and i have a couple more videos to film for my book channel so i will definitely be talking a lot so it's going to put them to the test put it to the test <laughs> so i wanted to quickly update you because i'm about to eat some chili uh, I really need to cut my bangs, huh? <laughs> but the lipstick is looking literally the same as it did this morning. Let me just do one more. Absolutely nothing. I've been drinking water and talking and everything. So like I said, I was about to eat and I'll update you afterwards if there's any change. I mean, a little bit oily, so maybe something will happen. Maybe. Okay, so I forgot to update you right after eating, but I've been wearing the lipstick for over 10 hours, almost 11. And I wanted to specify that I am wearing Invisalign so every time I eat I have to remove them so if the lipstick is not transfer proof it means I would have some all over my fingers and well all over my face really uh, and you can see it looks pretty much exactly what it did this morning so again one more I don't see anything so absolutely waterproof absolutely transfer proof they last just as well as all the other ones from the other collections so Huge thumbs up, highly recommend these also.